yellowish color. That's for Saturday. Sunday is a nice warm-up, but Sunday afternoon, this huge surge of cold air coming in. And this is not only Canadian, but it's all, also a little bit of what we'd say some Arctic air is kind of in this zone. Usually Canadian isn't as cold as Arctic. So, but this is still awful cold for this late in the season. That's just going to blow south on Sunday night into Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, and then potentially on into Wednesday morning. We're cold across a big chunk of the country compared to normal. It's like, what is going on? Well, this will start to move out a little bit as we go into Thursday and Friday, but there's still some chilly air. Uh, they'll hang around. Then finally, toward late Friday into Saturday, uh, we have a little bit of a warm-up, but that'll set the stage for potentially a few thunderstorms as well. Gary Crow up at Quapaw, the far northeast corner of the state, took this picture. John Deere tractor, American flag, planting, most likely planting, I'd say uh, probably corn, maybe soybeans, uh, out in some fields. So the farmers are getting it going right now, and the weather is good. But so is the pollen, because again, this time of year, everything's blowing up. We've been mentioning it all week long. Tree pollen is high. Grass and weeds are moderate. Mold spore, surprisingly low, even though I don't feel that. Oak, mulberry, and cedar. Those are the primary culprits at this time as far as tree pollen. And that will continue to be at least moderate, if not high, for tomorrow, then sharply dropping off on Sunday afternoon. So you get a little relief there, even if the weather gets crazy. 65 degrees now, very light wind, 26% humidity. So the air is very, very dry. Gathering place was absolutely gorgeous, though. We're also talking about a few high plains showers and thunderstorms. This part of that storm system will eventually be getting here. Some of that moisture will start to roll on into our area gradually. It's going to take a while, but it will get here. In the meantime, right now, we're enjoying temperatures in the low to mid 60s with a few mid to upper 60s out to the west of us. And tonight with the south wind, we really won't drop a whole lot. So we'll have clouds on the increase around 2 o'clock in the morning. And then isolated showers, if you're up to the north and right along the Kansas, Oklahoma border areas, that would be with that ripple that's coming out of west Texas. And then that'll move off to the northeast. We'll be in the 40s in the morning, so chilly, but not bad. And then quite a few clouds tomorrow. Could be a few sun breaks, especially Tulsa North. To the south, better chance of rain. Some of that could be heavy in the far southeast part of our viewing area. Our temperatures are going to be good, though, say in the 60s and 70s. Again, better chance of being dry across the northern half than the southern third. And then we look for a chance of a few strong thunderstorms. We go on into Saturday morning, or I should say Saturday night, excuse me, and into early Sunday morning. This will continue to move to the northeast. So there's a chance of a few strong storms with that. Then we get a break for the most part on Sunday morning with temperatures in the 60s, upper 50s and low 60s. But we do have a chance. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more nerve-wracking. Some showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. And so if you have plans to have some type of lunch with whatever few people we have in our group, uh, we do have a chance for a few strong to severe thunderstorms in southeast Oklahoma. And a few could be strong here before that all moves out and then really, really cold air starts to move in. So just be ready because that's going to be kind of a strange Easter day, so to speak, weather-wise. Temperatures for tomorrow morning will be down to 48 with clouds across the area and a few isolated showers. Noontime, 62 with a slight chance of storms, better chance if you're south of Tulsa. 70 by the time we get in the afternoon with an isolated or scattered storm southeast, slight chance Tulsa. Best chance for Tulsa will be on Easter. Then falling temperatures, freezing, near, near freezing or below freezing on Monday morning. Monday is a struggle. We're still chilly on Tuesday. And then you'll see temperatures in the 60s, possibly warming late next week. But there would be a chance of severe weather. That is a look at your nine-day planner. We will be right back.